Sydney Fisher, a junior at Northwest, has had an entrepreneurial mindset since a very young age, which helped jumpstart her current business selling handmade scrunchies. We had a field trip when I was in ninth grade, and they spent a little bit of the time talking about entrepreneurship, and that's when I really got interested because ever since I was little, I've always wanted to start my own business, and I used to come up with ideas and pitch the ideas to my dad like they did on Shark Tank because we used to watch that together. It was originally my brother Mitch's idea. He knew I loved to sew and I kind of wanted that to be um, how I started my business was sewing and I was a little hesitant at first but once I tried it out it was actually really easy and I really enjoyed it. Honestly what happened is Sydney just kind of had an idea um, to run this business and just she just ran with it. My role literally hasn't been that big, but um, if she ever does have questions about anything entrepreneurship, anything about running a business, uh, she does come to me. I can't take the credit. She's been she's been working really hard on this, and it's all been her. Some of the products that I have right now are scrunchies, bow scrunchies, hair scarves, and headbands. Each print goes into each of those products, so I use it for all four different products and I usually have about three prints each season. I usually just get the most interesting prints that I see. I like trying to get different materials too because I originally just did cotton and I didn't really enjoy working with that as much but I started to get chiffon and I really loved that. And I also started getting corduroy which is a little bit thicker fabric but they really turn out and I love them in the end. Basically I do everything myself, but I do get some help. I usually have people come with me when I get the fabric to get their ideas on it, like my mom or my brothers. And I also like to ask like my um, consumers, like on Instagram, I'll kind of ask what they would like to see me come up with next. That kind of gives me a lot of inspiration. So I actually have a website for my business, but you can get to it through my Instagram, which my username is Cindy Scrunchies Co. And I also have a TikTok with the same username. I just like to reach a wider audience with that just to show kind of how I make them in different photos. I usually dedicate most of my time on Instagram because I think that's the perfect platform to sell products. I would say that starting your own business is a little scary. You have to put yourself out there a little bit but I would definitely encourage it because you learn a lot and you find out that there's a lot of people that will stick behind you and really support you.